morning for me so I woke up this morning I was feeling okay then all of a sudden I just started feeling so dizzy girl I was lightheaded I could not move out my bed I felt like I was about to fall it was the most scariest experience ever I still don't feel up to par I feel like something is definitely off I checked my blood pressure. It was a little elevated. Um, it was a little elevated this morning. So I was like, okay. So then I took an ibuprofen just to see because I know my cycle is about to come on soon. Um, but girl, my whole body was like sweating. Like I was on fire. I took a shower, a cold shower. I'm like, what is wrong with me? Like um, my stomach wasn't cramping. It's just like my head. I just had a light headache. I mean, I had a very bad headache and I was feeling really, really dizzy. Like every time I bend down, like I felt like I was about to fall. So that was crazy this morning. So I am still feeling like a little weird, but girl, you know, today is the pop-up shop. So I have a pop-up shop today. So I really have to push through okay i feel like kim kardashian when she uh, was super super sick and she had to go over to paris to do a shoot milan to do a shoot and she felt terrible but she had to still pull through that's what it's feeling like hello hey baby child i guess it ain't gonna be no candle it is what it is I ain't tripping. Yeah, that's fine. It is what it is. I'll probably tell May to bring a lighter, but if not, that's fine. Whatever I have, I have. If I don't have it, it is what it is. I'm just trying to go and get this over with. Oh, and where's my big gold bangle? Okay, I have to just put one on. I have a big gold bangle I had on, but I don't know where I put it at. I took it off. And uh, I'll just put the one one on out of the inventory. <sighs> okay, so I'll call you. Okay, baby. So yeah, I just feel like, oh my gosh, like I next year I am definitely, definitely hiring a an assistant because I can no longer do everything by myself. Like I just can't. Like, my body is tired. And so, after the um, the pop-up shop, I promised Nikki I was going to go to this RB concert down in Miami with her and my other friends. And I really, really want to counsel and say I don't, I don't feel good to go. I just want to come home and get in my bed and go to sleep <sighs> um, and try to get some rest because I have another event, a work event tomorrow that I have to be back in Miami. Um, I am going to see, I guess I could tell y'all now, I'm going to get, I was invited um, to see um, the Color Purple premiere in the Avatar Mall tomorrow at the Avatar Theater. And I'm super, super excited because it's such a big deal. Um, you know, just getting invited to a premiere to see Color Purple music. It's more like a musical. I don't know what it's like. But um, I did see Oprah, them talking about it. And she was like, she wanted everybody to wear purple and stuff. I'm sure Oprah's not going to be there. But it's such a big deal. She was in charge of, like, remaking the video and stuff like that. Fantasia is going to be um, in the movie tonight. Taraji going to be in the movie so I'm just super excited to see the movie but you know it's just a movie so I thought like maybe I can just dress now but you can't dress now you kind of got to dress up a little bit I don't know if they're going to have like I don't 
don't know what to expect because I did see the premiere when Fantasia went to London. She had a premiere of the movie in London and it was like more of a dress up event. Um, I'm sure it's not going to be like that this this time around but um, and I'm sure she's not going to be there like girl what but I still want to look nice and take some pictures of me being there and stuff like that so that's tomorrow and then I got to get ready to go out of town that Friday so girl listen it's a lot going on I got to take care of my health though because Missing. And then when I get back from New York, a few days later, I have to get ready for the holiday gala, um, which is such a big deal because this is one of our biggest parties of the year. So everybody dressed up in their gowns and get dolled up and get their makeup done. Last year, my girl Peyton and Charles came down and celebrated with us so you know it's such a big deal for us it's definitely a highlight of our you know foundation so definitely have to be ready for that I just want my cycle to come on now come on this week so I can deal with whatever everything that I got to deal with so I don't have to worry about worry about that in New York or I don't have to worry about that um for the gala like just come on and just stop taking me through hell because I definitely feel like this got something to do with my cycle as well so yeah I'm just girl I got me a big bottle of ibuprofen but I don't even think I don't know I'm gonna just go and then think about it, a pop-up show you have to talk to people you have to interact with people you have to smile you have to be friendly because you want to sell your products so girl I was gonna wake I woke up this morning I was like you know what I cannot do it I'm gonna just go ahead and cancel um this and I'm just gonna have to lose the money and I'm gonna just have to take that loss <sighs> I'm just gonna push through I'm doing this for my business. I gotta push through. And then I called Nikki this morning and I was like, you know, I'm feeling kind of sick. Do you, sh you know, she still wanna go to the concert because of course she's pay she paid her money, you know? The tickets was almost $200. Of course she wanna go to the concert. So, I mean, she took off work. So, you know, I have to just push through. Hey guys, first of all, I am using this janky tripod, okay? Um, I left my real tripod at the event today, but as you guys can see, I didn't vlog too much of the event, but the event went really well. Ooh, child. It went really well. Um, so now, I am so tired, y'all. I am so tired, like, extremely tired, but I am on my way to the concert. Um, the RB 
concert art and beat concert uh, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing girl nothing like that and if my camera seemed cricket I am sorry this is all I got right now so I'm wearing my Giovanni Roski um, heels what other heels I have I have some heels from mango I should wear because I don't really wear those but whatever I'm not wearing them I was going to wear my red heels with this but I don't feel like being uncomfortable and we probably have to walk a little bit so I just have on this dress this dress is from <sighs> forever 21 let me show y'all. Sorry, my background is showing. But yeah, just have a, I had just have on a Forever 21 dress. And then I just have on my Jackamoos inspired that. I am so bloated. Like, girl. The girl is supposed to come on. Miss Mama supposed to come to town, but she haven't came yet. So you know. If you're a girl, you know that. Like, that'd be the worst time. You feel better when you when it's actually here. But when, before I get here, you be like, oh. so I'm just waiting on Nikki to pick me up. She's so late as usual. Um, but it is what it is. I don't really even care at this point. I'm just going with the flow, getting on the passenger seat and catching a vibe. I'm not bringing my camera. I'm definitely going to record. If I record anything, I'll record when I'm inside of the concert. Um, the only people gonna be there is like it's like a lot of people gonna be there, but it's like Tyrese, um, SWV, Genuine, Next. So if any one of them are worth recording, I'll definitely show what the vibe is. Not trying to say that, but you know, you know, you know. If you've been to one of the R R&B concerts, you already know the vibe. So. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Just wanted to come and check in. There's a lot going on. I just kept on my thing. Accessories. I just put them back on. I took a quick shower. And I just touched up my makeup. And yeah. Wait on Nikki. Alright guys. what is up it's another day girl like the last three days i've been sick i have not been able to vlog so it's just been a long week okay so i feel better today i decided to pick up my camera i just got done doing this unit this hair review it is flawless honey so flawless um so i'm going on vacation tomorrow i don't have anything packed but i'm about to go to target really quick i need to pick up some like makeup remover wipes a little small toothpaste a little bit of soap like just some traveling things real quick i wanted to come on here and show you guys these cute little lights that i bought from tiktok shop it comes one in a pack right so these are like mini selfie lights although i love my regular selfie light which is the big one y'all know what i'm talking about i usually have it in my purse i'm trying to show y'all but sometimes it's just like kind of big and bulky so i was like you know what this is so small and convenient let me just see if it works so they also have like a little charging port that you can charge it you can turn it up this is the highest setting so this is how it looks with the light on so i think that's pretty good for a light it's so small and convenient about two of them just to like keep in my pocket keep in my purse it's so little if i have a small purse that i'm wearing this is like so little i kind of dropped this one they're super super cheap but they look like they work let me turn it off so i can see if i see a difference so this was without the light and this is with the light. 
I feel like it works. I feel like it, excuse me, I feel like it works pretty good. So, and it does not, it's not too heavy for my camera. Because sometimes, you know, the light can be a little too heavy for your camera. Well, my camera and my tripod kind of slide down. But I did get a new tripod. So, you know, I just think these are cute. And they were like $2 off of TikTok. These little things was like $2. I can see if I can find them on Amazon for you guys. I'm sure somewhere like Teemu. She ain't got these. They so cute and little. So if I see, I'm probably gonna order two more just to have. Um, Cause I love these little lights when I'm out and about. So yeah, I'm about to go to Target and get some stuff and then I'm gonna start packing. Um, I did go buy Bath and Body Works and get some candles. Um, I didn't get that many candles. I got probably about seven or eight and that's it. Um, and I put them up. So, yeah, let me go to Target. I'll show you guys what I got when I come back. Um, yeah. Your girl been down, y'all. Down. Been going through female problems. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling like myself today. So, yeah. I'm going to show y'all what I got when I come back, okay? I'm going to show y'all what I get from Target. So, let's go. So we are back from Target. Um, shout out to Garnier for sending me over their Marcella cleansing water. I love, love this stuff. I'm definitely going to pack. I actually just picked up the travel size in this. So I'm super ex excited for this. I love this stuff. They also sent over the Marcella cleaning um, pads as well. Shout out to them. Thank you so much. I don't know how they got my address, but shout out to them. So let me show you guys what I got from Target. I spent like $120. I got these little always um, underwear like panties for your cycle. I never heard of these. I mean, I heard, I think I heard Aaliyah talking about these. Girl, this look like a pamper. I don't know if I can wear this. This look like a pamper. <laughs> this look like a pamper. Like, what? Oh my gosh, I cannot be in the bed with my man with this big ass pamper on. But, like, do people walk around with this? Like, girl, what? Anywho, I got them. I'm gonna try them out. I got them in a large. This is just for New York. I'm not gonna wear these at home. I'm gonna just wear these in New York when I'm sleeping. I guess they feel comfortable though. I also picked up some dry shampoo for volume and fullness. I love the dry shampoo. This is my favorite type of dry shampoo. So I picked up this one and this one is, I think, is this the um, lavender scent? I don't know, but it's like the purple one. I also picked up this Tresemme um, Extra Hole Spray. Because this is what I'm going to be bringing with me. It's just a small thing because I'm out of my even spray. So I was like, you know what, I'll just bring that. And this is the, the strongest hole, the extra hole. And I tried it out a little bit in the store. And girl, it's working. Then I um, got some Lysol, some toothpaste, some Dove spray deodorant. I saw this. This is by... Um, Black Radiance, they came out with a concealer and I never saw this before, so I'm gonna try it out. This is their long wear concealer by Black Radiance. And I also picked up this foundation here. I probably already have it, but it's probably super old. This is the Milani Conceal Imperfect Foundation. I really, 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 really love their concealer. I use it a lot on my clients. So I was like, you know what? If I love their concealer, I probably will love their foundation. Am I focused? I probably love their foundation. So, and New York is very cold. So I was like, you know what? I don't want my skin to look dry. I don't want to go for a matte look. I want to go for a satin look. So I'm going to definitely bring this and also my little NARS Radiance Foundation. Um, a toothpaste, I mean a toothbrush, some Neutrogena cleansing wipe, makeup wipes, some soap, and like I said, a little thing of makeup remover, micellar water. I also got these two little sweaters. And then I touched it by mistake with my makeup on my hand. But these look so cute. 
and they were only twenty dollars I think these will look cute with some trousers so I'm gonna try those on and see how they look in and I also got this sports fixed long lasting setting spray by um makeup revolution so I'm gonna bring this with me as well because I have the big bottle one in the little pink tan but I wanted something smaller so I'm gonna bring that and we're gonna see how that goes so I got all of my stuff that I'm gonna pack with tonight this is all of my little travel stuff and then I'm gonna attempt to try on some make I mean try on some pieces and see what I like and see what I'm bringing because I have to try on everything to see if I like it. So, I'm not going to do that on camera, you guys. But I'm just going to pack. And I'm going to pack my makeup. And then I'll be done. And I can relax for the rest of the night. So, y'all remember when she had sent over this little briefcase full of, like, winter stuff that I never used? You remember? Um, I don't know if y'all remember that vlog. I never used it because it was all like winter stuff. So now that I'm going in the, the winter places, I can use this stuff now. Like they sent over these gloves, this scarf, these little, what's this? Like a little blanket, earmuffs, this little cute little teddy bear. Now I can use this stuff because I actually need it. I need it now. Oh, it's so freaking cute. But I'm definitely going to bring this little scarf. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. You could never have too many scarves. And then the gloves are really cute as well. See, stuff come in handy sometimes. Although I stay in Florida, I would have never thought I need this stuff, but I do now. See? Cute little vibes. You remember she is sending y'all this stuff? Now look. I need this stuff. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm almost done packing. I'm almost done. Hey guys, what is up? What is up? So Kira and Bree is taking New York. We're on our way to our hotel now. Hopefully I'm going to do all my vlogging, you guys. Um, I'm going to be a very great vlogger. The weather is pretty nice. It's like 51. The lowest tonight. Say hey girl. Hi. Happy birthday to my girl. Thank you. I am the big 33. Yes, girl. We are Asian. We are going to live our sex in the city life. Gracefully. We are, me, me and Kara take New York for 48 hours, okay? Stay tuned. We don't plan on being sober. We plan on just having a time of our life and creating memories, right? And falling in the middle of the road. Yes, living our best <laughs> life, okay? That's what it's all about. So, hopefully y'all get this content, but the way me and my girlfriend are just vibe out, oh. whole nother level. We just got to get there because we're a little, we getting a little old, so we got a lot of... <sighs> we need a little... Mm. We need a little uh so if I uh. if I see a liquor store, I'm definitely gonna what are we drinking? Brown or white? Something, something smooth. Brown. Something smooth. smooth. That we can Maybe carry in a Deleon. Yeah, something that we can just Huli, I Oh, that time. Holy. I think we definitely need it so we can really get on a vibe. Like if we her have a little just imagine walking Soho tipsy. Laughing. Living mm. our best life. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're on our way to our Uber. It took like an hour. We're on our way to our hotel. I'll do a little room tour when I get there for you guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys. See you later. Hey guys, what is up? What is up? So we made it out the room. It's, it looks later than what it is right now. It's 8.18. We're on our way to this restaurant that's called Somewhere Nowhere. And it's like igloos and just a vibe. This is our first night, so we're just taking it light weight tonight. Now, after that, we're going to do a little sightseeing. So, so Kira can go downtown and see um, Times Square and stuff like that. So, that's what we are doing tonight. Just taking it really, really, really easy. We're super excited, too. We did have some Prosecco and stuff like that. Can y'all see me in my focus? 
so yeah um yeah so this place is probably about 20 more minutes down so just wanted to come and check in you guys we just left juniors to get me a cheesecake and some hot coffee hot, hot chocolate. cocoa is so good y'all hot chocolate mm. oh my gosh it's so good oh that's gonna keep me nice and warm and then I got my cheesecake for later on in the room. Now I don't know where we on our way to. <laughs> but we are vibing out. Oh, this is the front side. Oh, okay. That's the thing. Oh yeah, we went the back way. So we are on our way to have some brunch at Magic Hour um, restaurant. They have something that's called Pink, is, uh, Pink AF Brunch. So me and my girl, say hey, Kara. Hi. Last night we had so much fun. We went to oh the club. Oh my God, last night. We kind of did too much last night. Like we last were so tired. Last night we tired. were singing Christmas carols to get to trap music. Chocolate. To trap me. We had hot chocolate <laughs> to Hennessy within the within an hour, it was so baby. Fun. We had so much fun. And I did vlog a little bit. My camera had went dead, so <laughs> yeah. Y'all couldn't see everything. See, but gonna do it again. I'm definitely gonna, we gonna run it back tonight. We're we gonna run it back. Yes, tonight. for sure. Yeah, we're gonna run it back tonight. So girl. We, just <laughs> we was just having a time of our lives. So and laughing. We're gonna do a little touristy stuff today. We're gonna go to Bryant Park mm -hmm. and, and go ice skating. Ice skating, and hopefully, I can do a little shopping. If I don't, that's cool. I'm but if I just do, eat. yeah, I'm she's ready to just eat. eat. I'm a fatty. It's okay. She's a foodie. Yeah. So um, yeah, these earrings are from Mahi. So yeah, guys. So we're gonna go and catch the vibes there. I just wanted to come check in. I'll do an outfit check later for you guys. I'll have Kira record me. Hey guys, so we are out here in the air. It's so crowded. Girl, it's so, so lit. But I definitely do not think I can stay here. For sure. Well, not down here, probably. Not in this area. We're going to go in H&M. I'm trying to find me a little bit more comfortable. I'm going to put my Oh, it's so far. Comfortable shoes. It's so crowded, guys. We need a ride, Kira. <laughs> Yep. Love me. Going to H&M, guys. 
a really nice H&M. I'm going to look, because their stuff is so cute. I'm going upstairs to the shoes. This H&M is like top tier. Hey guys, so I just got me a Red Bull, girl. We finally found Zara. I needed me a Red Bull. Excuse me. Can I you Y'all, I'm getting me a Red Bull. I need a girl so bad. It looks so dark out here, but it's really not. Ah, uh, all of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that man ain't got no flavor, bitch. That's like a convention. Girl, that's a lot of fun. Now we be up like a We're light. gonna be up like a light, hard race and fast. I love people when they be happy and they be singing to me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Living our best life. Happy life. Hi. Get me in the city lights. Yeah, Ooh. let me crack this. Crack this motherfucking boo. Is this some. Oh, they got food. We're gonna go to. Um, Brent, let's try some of that food. Oh, yeah, that's it right there. That's it. That real person. Uh, no, they're not. Tell them I'm sorry. Look at Harry Potter. Do Joseph like Harry Potter? No. No? But Joseph don't like shit. Hey guys, what is up, what is up? I am checking in. Today, we are on our way to... Um, a tea little spot to have hot tea at the Ritz Hotel. Um, it is a not a gloomy day, but we still gonna make it work and see what this day take us. It's super super gloomy. Um, I have on all black. I'll do. I keep on saying I'll do an outfit pit for you guys. I don't have my shoes on. I'll just insert a pit. So this look is inspired by my favorite girl in the world. Y'all already know how I feel about her. Um, it's one of my Kim Kardashian looks. Um, she had on this. What was this? Botay no Balenciaga black trench coat with black leggings. I think it was about a year and a half or two years ago. So I definitely got inspired by this her on this look. So yeah, I wanted to recreate it my own little way. So I'm definitely getting fashion girl today. I think she had on gloves, so I definitely gonna put on some black gloves as well, just to give you the full vibes. Yeah, I think she had on gloves. So I'll talk to you guys once we get to the tea party area. It looks really cute. So yeah, talk to you guys later. Okay, you guys, so we are here. So far, the aesthetic is really, really cute in here. We are just waiting to be seated. It's very intimate. Definitely check this place out so far. I'll let you guys know my experience. I'll do a little video letting you guys see the food and the tea i'm super excited for the tea right now we are celebrating well we are doing the hot tea menu so it's just very top tier i love it so cute okay guys so we are having our hot tea i got the white passion fruit um Tea is really good. We got a little tea. Cheers. And it's so good. So good. <laughs> Good morning guys so we are at this coffee shop called the lazy lamb coffee shop it is so lamba coffee shop it's so cute and cozy we just ordered us some food before we go get on we, before we head to the airport this trip was so amazing we had such an amazing time just good vibes good energy I don't know if I vlogged that lot much but what I do have I'll show you guys but yeah, this trip was everything. I ordered me one of the gingerbread hot latte drinks and a bacon, egg, and cheese. So that's what I ordered. 
and Kira ordered a cinnamon bun latte, which sounds good as well. So yeah, girl. This coat, this coat is so comfortable. It's my pretty little thing. I love it. It's so like oversized. So cute. So let me get in here. Let me show y'all how it looks on the inside. It has a little music, so let me do it quick. Say hey, Kira. Good morning, good people. What is up, you guys? So I am back from the gym. Well, I'm back from New York. New York was such an amazing trip. It was very relaxing. It was just good. Me and my friend had such a great time. But I'm back. I'm ready to get back on a routine, girl. Because when I was in New York, I ate like crazy. Well, the whole holidays, Thanksgiving break, and uh, just the holidays, you gain weight, girl. So I gained like... I don't even want to tell y'all. Probably like two pounds. I could tell. Definitely see it in my face. So I'm just ready to get back on a routine. Get my life together. Still get myself great. Like, girl, first of all, I was sick for a whole week. So I wasn't able to go to the gym. And also, it's the holidays. So I definitely had a time, okay? So anyway, I just washed my face with this Good Time Facial Cleansing Bar. I just came from the gym, by the way. So I have on my gym outfit. Um... I'm definitely putting on my Christmas list of the things that I want. I definitely want a gift card to um, Nike and also New Balance. I want some New Balances that I saw in um, New York, which is really, really cute. So I'm definitely going to put that on my list to get me some new supportive workout clothes. So anyway. I'm all over the place. So, anyway, I just washed my face, you guys. I'm trying to get my skin back together after being sick and after being traveling and stuff. And just haven't really been taking care of my skin that much. So, like I said, I just cleansed. Now, I'm going to just take this little mix that I do probably every, probably like twice a month just to get my skin looking as clear as possible. I definitely want to do this probably once a week. Um, or you could do it every other day. It's not bad on your skin. So anyway, I just use baking soda and regular sugar. You do, it's probably best to use brown sugar just so it can be a little bit more harsh. But I just have regular sugar, so I'm going to just use regular sugar, sugar and a slice of lemon like this. So what I'm going to do is just mix that together like that. And you can do this too. Uh oh, and what this is gonna do is lighten up the dark spots, and it's just gonna give me a nice exfoliating type of situation. It does get messy, that's why I like to do this before. Oh, you can hear the, the lemon cracking. I do it over the sink, and I like to do this before I take a shower because it get a little messy. It is a little harsh on the skin, so don't be too rough. Let me put y'all right here. <sighs> don't be too rough, girl. You don't want to be too rough. But you could just definitely feel the lemon and hear the lemon. It's a little tingly, but the baking soda and the sugar. This is the baking soda, sugar, and lemon scrub. You can look this up on YouTube. Um, it's really, really beneficial. I got it from this lady page. She specializes in skincare. I met her on I met her in, on, in the YouTube event, so I checked out her page, and I'm using some of her at home. DIY skincare and I really like this one. She has so many, y'all. I'll leave her channel linked down below. I don't know. I think it's called the Skincare Doctor. I'm not sure. But I love, 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 love her page. I learned so much about skincare on her page. But it's like at home skincare. So she make a lot of her products at home. And I really like that. So I'm not really squeezing the lemon, it's just coming out on its own. So basically, I'm going to just do this for the next like five minutes. Because I just feel like my skin just been looking super textured 
definitely after you being sick and like you had I had a fever and stuff so I feel like I just can tell my skin just was so dehydrated and whew. so the last two days I've been drinking six bottles of water uh oh somebody shot my head shout out to them it's skin off my forehead and stuff I'm sorry it's just been a lot so and then you could take the smaller, I did cut smaller slices like this. Um, and then I'm gonna just, oh, you wanna make sure that I don't dip. You just take the smaller slices and you just put it underneath the eye. Oh, whoo, you feel it? No, I'm stopping. You feel this thing working. Put it underneath the eye. Oh, you know, I have a lot of texture on my nose. I hate that. So I like to make sure. I don't have dark circles. I don't know why. But I don't ever struggle with like dark circles. I mean, they are a little bit darker than my skin because when you put on concealer, you could definitely tell. But I feel like underneath my eye, I'm doing a good job of like keeping my under eye like very plump so you know using eye cream and stuff like that because dark circles kind of run in my family my mom have dark circles Whew. so i'm gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes just to let the lemon like get up in there. I want to definitely exfoliate underneath my lip because I don't know if y'all have that but I have like texture under my lips. Like right up in here it be like little small bumps. Like not a little bump but just texture and I'm going to get rid of that. And then I have texture up in here on my, my cheeks and I don't like that. Alright, so we're gonna let this sit for about five or six minutes, okay? Then I'll call y'all back. Okay, let me wash it off. And then I still got sugar all over my body, which this is kind of messy, but I'm about to take a shower anyway. Oh, I just hit myself right in the damn head. <laughs> oh, child. So I'm just using these disposable towels from Amazon. I'll leave the link down below for you guys. Now I'm gonna just, look girl, look at all this sugar scrub all over my body. Now I'm just gonna use a paper towel. What the hell? How did all this water get on top of my damn? All right, now I wanna just use a towel. Oh, I'm so sticky. But that's okay. I'm about to take a shower. I feel like it's a little sticky up in here. And you could do this like once a week, every other day. Like you could do as much as you want. Definitely if you're a dry girl and you have a lot of skin, like 
flaky skin. I tell my clients this all the time. Um, like when I do their makeup, I be like, they be like, how do you get your application so smooth? I even heard you guys on YouTube be like, Brie, how do you get your makeup application so smooth? It's because your skin has to be smooth. It's one thing, like I, I deal with like a little black spot on my forehead. I don't know if y'all can see that, but on my forehead, I have like, um, like every time I get a little pimple or stuff, it get, it's lightening up now, but that's what I deal with. But I try not to deal with texture. texture. I try to like, I wear makeup, so I like my, underneath my makeup to look super smooth, like baby skin, you know? And that's what this like lemon stuff too. As you can see, like I still have like discoloration on the forehead, but I am working on it. But everything is like so baby smooth, y'all. Like if y'all could feel my skin right now, it's like so baby smooth. So try that. I want y'all to try that. Oh my gosh. So I want y'all to try that. Try the lemon, baking soda, and sugar scrub. I did not create this. I just got it from her, her YouTube page, I'm sure. I don't know who created it, but I don't want y'all to feel like it's my thing. Because it's definitely not my thing. I got it off the internet, but try it, and it's so good. I've been doing it for a minute. Um, yeah. And my neck's been irritating and irritating, y'all. Because I've been wearing fake jewelry, so it looks a little dark. But I'm going to give it a break for the week. But look at my skin. And it's like the more it dries out, look at that. That is skin. I promise you, there's no filters. Like, you see how like it look like I got a whole new layer of skin. First of all, this hair bit. But yeah, it looked like I have a whole new layer of skin. Then you could definitely add your moisturizer and stuff like that to add hydration. But um, yeah, it's like, oh my gosh. Now, if you do this like two days a week, you gonna the lemon is gonna brighten up the dark spots and the dark circles, and then the sugar in the baking soda is gonna exfoliate all the dead skin. Now, I am no esthetician; I don't know crap about skin like that. But what I'm learning, I'll, I don't mind sharing with you guys. But you know. I don't need you guys to get on here who are estheticians and be like, no, you. I don't recommend that you do that because, listen, let us be over here, okay? It's doing great for me. And it's natural. So, I'm about to take a shower. And then I'm going to just put on a little clothes and we're going to go get our nails done. I love this shape. I'm definitely going back to this shape, but I think I'm going to do a French this time. Just a little thin French. But, yeah. All right, then I'll, I don't know, I don't really want to do my hair because I have to do my hair in a few days for the holiday party. So I'm just getting prepared for the holiday party. So yeah. All right, y'all, I'm out the shower and I just put a little bit of the natural Pathica Vitamin C15 Renewal Wrinkle Serum. I just like using that. And I also sprayed a little bit of um, the Oak Soothing Jelly Mist. So, I like to use that. My neck. Whew. Yeah, this marshmallow and micro collagen um, sensitive smoothing balm. I'm gonna add a little bit of this. I use this a lot, as you guys can see. I like it. It just makes my face feel so like plumped. And this is my, my last step. I don't know if I'll put my stuff on in order. But I'll just put it on. Okay, skincare. Everything feels a lot more smooth. And then that's it. That's how I will have my hair today. 
so yeah I mean that's how I would do my skincare today now I don't do this stuff these type of stuff every every um day this is definitely not an everyday but at least once a week this is their lip balm not the natural palette natural Patrica lip balm I like it it's a conditioner lip butter It has no exfoliating beads or anything like that. Good to go. It's a little self care for you guys. So, now I'm about to lotion up my body. Just deep moisturize my body. I'm going to be using the Topicals um, Slather Body Serum on my body. Then I'm going to get ready to go get my nails done. So, but yeah. I like this. I like this stuff. I don't care for the smell of it, but I do like the way it, it feels on the body. I like it. I need my little wrap around towel thing. I got a white one. I just washed it. I used it so much. But yeah, this is good. I like it. I'll leave the link to everything. I'll leave the products that I'm using on the side in the YouTube shop area for you guys as well. Because, yeah. Hey guys, so it is a lot later, girl. A lot, 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 lot later. I cooked. I went to the grocery store. I stopped up on all of our fruits. Um, I was just laying on the couch, so sorry if I look crazy. Um, but right now I'm about to have me some habucha. I'm trying not to drink as much like wine and stuff for the rest of the year. So I'm going to have me some passion fruit habucha. This is going to just substitute my little wine. And this is really great for gut health. I am really trying to heal my gut. I've been seeing so many videos on TikTok. I guess because I'm in like this self-development um, just like self-care type of phase in my life. Everything, I guess I've been just, I, I don't know, serious just be hearing me talking and stuff like that. Because on my TikTok and on my Instagram feed, all I see is self-care stuff. So I am really getting into like healing the gut and stuff. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing year. So, habucha is good and I love taking habucha at nighttime. I don't like drinking it throughout the day. I like drinking it at night time. We are going to the gym tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, this is a vibe. I'm going to drink this. <coughs> Ooh. And I bought myself some roses. I need to put them in some water for tonight. But I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and close off this vlog and start another one tomorrow. So hopefully you guys can get at least, I don't know how many more vlogs we're going to do before. But you guys know I'm not really vlog missing. I'm not really vlogging every day of December. But I'm still giving you guys full vlogs like my regular vlogs. Because I'm just too busy to do vlogmas. I am just too busy. But I am trying to produce a little bit more vlogs than normal. I don't know if I'm like doing what I'm supposed to do. But yeah. We are going to go to the gym in the morning. Today was a very, 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 very slow day. I did a lot of self-care. Um, I didn't get around to get my nails done, so I'm definitely going to go in the morning time to get my nails done after I leave the gym. And then we're going to figure out how we're going to wear our hair to the holiday party Saturday. And so, I'll probably wash a unit, replug it, re -dye it. But, my camera is going dead. I'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys.